Certainly a sad sight to see, guys. Hopefully a sight we won't see across other esports as well. For Season 9 RLCS, we will officially have no world champion. On top of that, luckily enough, Sonics, with their announcement following up of yes, if you guys could not have guessed, is because, unfortunately, of coronavirus. This delaying and actually canceling many events across several esports out there, and hopefully none others will be affected with their biggest events throughout the entire year, like this will be, of course, when it comes to RLCS Land Finals. There will be no world champion. There will be several regional champions for Season 9, bringing home additional prize pools. At the very least, it will be Sinox actually adding prize pools to all of the regions out there competing. Unfortunately enough for teams who are at the very top though, and any team in contention, when it comes time for the exposure and potentially being a world champion in Rocket League, it just, it really sucks to see. I can't imagine a world where CSGO didn't have a major champion twice a year, Dota an international champion, League of Legends a world champion. It would just it really suck. I hope to not see it elsewhere, guys. But yes, probably the smart call to make. And for Season 9, we will only see regional champions. So I guess, you know, individually you can call each regional champion a world champion. I'm sure some players will take that stretch. I know I certainly would. And one of those teams most affected actually suffering their first loss this past weekend. Week 5 and 6, of course, in the schedule can join. So I'll break it down very fast for all of you as G2 has now suffered their first loss to Ghost of all teams out there. And by the way, people somehow worried uh, about Ghost because their schedule does not get any easier, unfortunately enough. I believe Space Station NRG to close out this season will be probably the hardest part of their matchup, albeit we thought that until Cloud9 out of nowhere. Pick up their second win, their first against Flight. By the way, congrats to Flight. They pick up their first win of the entire season, making E United look a bit, little bit of a fool. But Cloud9, their second win over NRG this past week, Weekend in a 3-0 sweep and this just really I it really really puts on the paper what I've been saying for so long when it comes time for predicting Rocket League and how close these teams can be just depend upon the day that really defines it we know NRG loves their game five close series nail biters and put us on the edge of our seats but to lose to cloud nine in that pretty dominant fashion fairly one-sided was certainly a surprise very lastly as well congrats to Sonics taking down PK certainly in my book solidifying themselves as a top four contender as well super exciting stuff to see across North America and yes we actually have five solid teams nor the actually near the bottom of the pack now fighting for that one spot with Cloud9 to make regionals just like that Cloud9 is back in the regional hunt and albeit with the storyline of this season so far imagine this Cloud9 can still be the regional champion and still own NA they still could yeah, it's, it, I wouldn't say it's very likely right now, but 3-0 sweeping NRG is a great way to start. G2's first loss set plenty of teams out there in contention in the hunt for the final six to make regionals. Now in Europe, though, we have a similar circumstance of our top four to five teams certainly being so tough to predict between them. I, I would say, in my own opinion, yes, our top four or five are all top contenders out there. You got to look towards Vitality. You got to look towards, of course, maybe Barca, maybe even Amal Sports. But then you throw in other teams like Dignitas and uh, Veloce. It, who... They all have traded series. It's really hard to pick them right now. I mean, what do you got? You got Dig beating Barca very closely, but then Vitality beating Dig pretty closely. And then a couple weeks back, we looked towards Barca and Vitality having one of the closer only Game 4 series we've seen so far this season, but still an amazingly close Series 4 only going to Game 4. And then we looked towards a team this past weekend at Mouse Sports, who is my preseason number one with their new talent, still having some apparent chemistry issues on the field, but they take down TSM and Veloce very, very handedly. And Veloce is still also a top team themselves, uh, you know, with a very, very close one loss this season, or at least maybe not a close, but still a one loss uh, team themselves to a very, very upper ranked team. You know, it's just like, what? how do you trade these back and forth? Also, speaking of this past weekend in TSM, probably going to wipe the slate clean. They will not be relegated because AS Monaco still remains our only winless team so far in these main regions, but, you know, they still have, certainly have been struggling. You take Singularity to a Game 5 overtime, you lose that and then lose once again uh, it just seems like it, it seems like all hope is said and done I really do worry for a guy like Remco especially when he takes to Twitter with these thoughts and feelings I hope the best for this guy and don't worry at least you will be an RLCS in the next season right a lot of players cannot be saying that I hope these guys can bounce back obviously been a tough season so far for them but there's always next season there's always Intel uh, as long as Intel does not also get delayed by Corona speaking of singularity by the way you know showing some potential over these past couple of weekends again one of the teams maybe maybe in 
in the mix for regionals, and we can't really say the same for a team like Monaco, who certainly is facing dire relegation. And when you flip flop to NA, NA as well, there are certainly many teams out there who are also facing that very, very, you know, daunting relegation. We will see over these past two weeks who can actually pick it up to avoid that relegation. Either way, both series going very well in hands, and I really do enjoy watching it. I, I really do think when it comes time for a, not necessarily a make or break season, but certainly a season nine that could have exploded Rocket League, the fact that coronavirus is taking away the world championship this season of all seasons it really truly sucks but either way i'll be back here guys breaking down the next couple of weeks and of course when we do get to regionals i will break that down for all of you guys until next time take care drink your coffee stay hydrated all right i will see you guys back here sometime soon